Hi everyone and welcome to Darlene's Creative Studio. I have been cleaning out my cupboard with all of my old books. And as you can see, I have quite a lot in stock. So I thought I'd pull them all out and start going through them to see um, what little projects I can work on. Now I've pulled the insides out of some of the books and I was getting a nice little pile of inserts from the books and some of them I just throw away some I was keeping I didn't want a big huge stack of all the inserts uh, but some of them I did I'm just going to set these aside because these are some of the little projects that I'm going to be working on with some of these book covers uh, but what I had done is I had pulled out some of them and some of the paper is was very brittle and very thin like this particular older book was quite brittle and old but I really like the look of it so I kept this for decoupaging this I could not actually fold and make things out of because it's just too brittle but there was other <laughs> sorry it's gonna make me sniffle too because it's very dusty um, some of the other ones had the paper was a little thicker and it was flexible so I knew it wasn't going to break so I was going to make some envelopes and stuff out of them and then I also found this one and the paper is already aged it's got that nice yellow patina to it and again it's a little thinner but I thought I could still make some envelopes out of it so what I was doing last night I pulled some of the books over and I put them on my tray when we were watching some of our shows and I grabbed I had one that was full of poems and I created first of all just a simple little folded envelope a little coin envelope and then this was my variation of distressing it and now this was a really nice thick paper this is really quite nice and thick so I really wanted to use this type of paper and make some coin envelopes and I will distress them and punch some little holes in them and again super easy to make and I'll quickly show you how to make some of these but I just sat there last night and folded them and, and made some envelopes out of this book it was just all poems and I didn't want to throw it away I didn't know what to do with the poems they were long and I think they were Walt Whitman poems very long and um, not something I could actually use in in, in a book um, so I created some of these type of coin envelopes and then I took some um, more of the pages and again I just took a simple page and just started folding it. I didn't actually get out like an envelope punch or anything like that and then I made some little tiny envelopes out of some of the pages as well. And again it was just simple folding not um, using a punch just using the page as it was. So these are some of the little envelopes I made out of one book, again because the paper was nice and thick and I'll distress them and I probably will add some little pictures and whatnot to them and decorate them when I put them in the books but I just wanted to get some of them made up. Um, and then there was um, another, this book which was a little bit thinner paper but again very nicely aged and I started to create some little coin envelopes. Again, uh, I did these this morning and I was just standing there and I started folding it and thought, oh, this is nice. <laughs> so again, it's a nice thin paper, but it's very, very aged and I really like the patina of it. So I just distressed this one a little bit, but this is actually what I've made. And I glued some of them together. <clears throat> so these are just some of the little envelopes I made. So I've kept a couple of the inserts of the books and some of them I've just thrown away. They were just too brittle or too soft um, that I couldn't use um, or too white. <laughs> uh, and again, just I had so many of them. So these are the ones I've made from this page here. And these are really simple to make. And I'm going to really quickly show you how I've made these. Simple enough. You just simply fold the page over and again this one is a little bit thinner so you have to be careful when you make the fold you're only going to make one fold and I'm doing it softly because it's a very thin paper and I'm just guesstimating I'm not even measuring. So I folded it over once <clears throat> and I always put the rough edge on the bottom. Fold it over twice 
And then I just take the bottom half of the, the page and I just fold it up like this. So there's my basic of the envelope. Then I open it back up and I literally take my scissors and cut off the two outside bottom flaps and the center one I'm going to leave and I'm just going to angle it a bit. So there's the first one. I'm going to cut off this one and angle it a bit. And then um, this one is plain, but this particular envelope, I used my pinking shears and did this. And I'm going to show you how to do this part of it. If you're just going to use a simple one like this, you would literally just glue this flap down, glue this flap up, and there's your simple little envelope. But I'm going to show you how I did this one with the pinking shears. So all I've done is I've turned it around. This is the top center. This is going to be the center of my envelope. So I actually just snip down about halfway with my scissors on the fold. And then I literally take my pinking shears, which are now stiff because I was using them all morning. <laughs> I have to oil them. And I cut the bottom piece. So it has the pinking shears. And then that piece in the middle that I've snipped, I actually go in here and I just cut across there like that. Okay, simple little step. Then you take your glue. You're gonna fold your first piece in, which is the biggest piece. And you're going to glue the flap closed. You don't need a lot of glue on this one, but you just want to make sure you get to the edge. And you fold that piece over. And then you glue your bottom. And once you get going on these, I just cut them all out. Then I, I do it in stages. I, I fold them all and then I cut all the little pieces off. And then I do the pinking shear and the gluing at the end. So there's your first one where you've cut across and then I just take my pinking shears and I just simply eyeball it and cut around like that. And you've got a simple little envelope out of a book page. You didn't have to do a lot of measuring. You simply just folded it. Um, and again, you can leave it plain and not cut this piece at the front. Just fold it over, fold it over, fold your edge up, cut your two pieces off and glue it closed and you get a simple little coin envelope like that and then I just punch out the the front there but these ones uh, I really liked how it, how aged it is you can see the difference in the color this one's quite white and this one was very aged um, so I thought these would make really nice little coin envelopes and again I'm going to put some maybe a botanical picture on the front here and maybe a word so I'll decorate them before I actually use them but that was what I did with some of the book pages. I have some smaller book pages um, that I'm going to make. <laughs> that was a little half inch punch and it didn't quite, it wasn't big enough. But again, simple enough, you're just going to guesstimate. You're just going to fold it. And because it's thinner, you have to be careful. You can only fold it once. Whatever the fold is, is going to be about the width of your envelope. And then you fold the second piece over. And I always use the part that I've ripped off the page out as my bottom. And I usually go right up to the bottom of the text there. I just fold it up, make a fold, open it back up again, and you're going to cut the two outside flaps off of the bottom. And I just put a little angle on that one, cut this one off, put a little angle on that one. So that when you close it up and you glue that flap down and you glue that up, that's a simple little coin envelope that you've made. And it's so easy with, um, you know, just using the size of the book page as your coin envelope. And just a quick little glue there. Close it up. And then if you want to, you can trim the bottom off a little bit if it's got any of that excess glue left over from when you ripped it out. But you just glue your flap and fold it up. And there you go. You've got a simple little easy coin envelope that you can use and you've used up some of your book pages.
No, I don't believe this one fits in. Ooh, not, no, not really. So I'd use the smaller one inch punch. This is a this is a one inch, so I would use a half inch punch just to make a little punch there. So that is really easy how to make little coin envelopes out of book pages. Now for the little mini envelope, again, super, super simple. We kind of doing the same thing. I folded it down for my flap. So I wanted to see where my flap was. So say my flap is about that far down. And this is the thinner book page. I used the nice thick book pages for this, but I'm just going to show it for demonstration purposes. And then you open up your flap and you actually take your bottom piece and you fold it right to the top. And then I just took this piece, because you don't want your envelope to be touching the top, I just folded this down about a half an inch and cut that off. So that is now my envelope. And then the same thing, you're going to use the uh, sides, you're just going to fold them in. One, about a half an inch. Two, so you have a little piece like that. You've got your flap folded down and your piece folded up. And then the same thing, you're going to cut off this flap. Angle. This flap. Angle. And you're just going to keep that middle one. And the top flap. And once you do these a couple times, you'll be able to whiz right through all these and make them very quickly. So literally, you fold these little pieces in. That's the edge of your envelope. You're going to fold your bottom piece up. And there's your flap. Oh, my glue is oozing out. So then, what I normally do for the bottom piece, because you want to round them off, if you very carefully fold it in half this way and line up your two fold lines, you can literally create a nice little rounded edge there. You do the same thing for your flap. You don't want to squeeze it closed. You don't want to create a crease, but you just want to hold it there. And then again, same thing for your flap, like that. So that when I put these pieces in, and fold that up. I've got a nice rounded piece and I didn't cut that very straight. Oh well. And that's it. And then I just take my glue, which I just have to wipe this off. And you're just going to glue along the edge of your flap, bottom flap. And that is it. If you're going to sew it into a book, you would leave it open and sew it into your book. But literally, you just glue your flaps right there. And there is a simple, simple little envelope out of a book page. Instead of throwing away those books, if you find you have a book that has a nice thick page that you can fold and you're not worried about it tearing, this one, like I say, is very thin. So I'm more worried that these are going to tear. So, But this was just to show you how to quickly make a little, little envelope. These ones are nice and thick. I'm not worried about these ripping or tearing. But uh, that's how you make a simple, simple little envelope out of some of the book pages without any kind of pattern or book page. Now the other thing I wanted to show you really quickly, I was watching some videos and there was a lady called Deborah on Attic Lane and she made hidden message paper clips. I went to a store and found these three inch Jumbo paper cuts. They're huge. And I had no idea what I was going to do with them. They were so big. They're literally three inches. They're huge. Um, but I have about three bags of them and I tried a couple of different paper clip things and they're just so bulky. I really didn't know what I was going to do with them. And then I came across her um, video on YouTube. And while I was in Scotland on my trip, I went into a little dollar store. It's called The Works. Um, it was two doors down from our hotel. We needed some cough drops and something else. So we went into the little store and I found these little tiny pads of paper. 
they were, I think they're almost six inches. They're a little bit shorter than six inches, but they're six inch paper pads and they were just so cute and they cost me two pounds. So I grabbed some of those and I actually made um, a little paper clip. And I have no idea where it is. Here it is. <laughs> and it has a little spot where you can slide a little card in there. So you just fold the paper up and make a little pocket and it has the paper clip on the inside so you can literally attach it to your inside your book this way or if you prefer this way. Um, but it was a great way. She was using the three inch paper clips and I was really excited when I saw that and thought I'm giving it a try. So this paper was perfect. You literally are cutting your paper to four inches by four and a half inches. And if you cut it right the first time, I'm just going to show you really quickly. If you cut it at the four inches first, you're going to end up with a really nice big strip. If you use these six by six or eight by eights, if you cut the four inch first, you're going to end up with a nice big strip that you can use for something else um, and not waste the paper. But if you cut the four and a half inch, you're going to end up with a tinier little skinny strip like this. So I cut the four inch like this. So that's my four inches and then I turn it and I cut my four and a half inches and you end up with a piece like this. So there's my four and a half by four piece of paper. So there's my piece of paper. And when you fold it all up, this little piece actually works really well as your inside piece. You literally only have to trim a tiny, tiny bit off the end and it'll make the card for inside your little paper clip. So you're, I can use a six by six piece of cardstock, save this piece for another project and I end up using these two pieces to make my paper clip. And it's super, super easy. You're just gonna take your scoreboard and at the four and a half, Make sure I'm in frame here. At the four and a half side, the width is four and a half. You're going to do one and a half and three. And then you're going to fold them. On those folds, like so. One and a half and three, and it gives you a little trifold like that. And then you can stamp. She did take some of her stamps, and I'll just do it really quickly. She took some of her stamps and stamped the outside with some additional words. I'll do London upside down here like so so we've got some words on there and then I also take some of my other little stamps here and I'll try this one now I'm just going to figure out which one's going to be my flap that one's going under and that one's going this way so this is my top one so I'm going to do this here. Like that. And it's upside down, of course. And then maybe this one. And I'll do this one this way. Like so. So that when we fold it in, this one's going to be covered and that's going to be on the top and that's going to be on the back. Okay. So we're just going to set those aside. Then 
then you can tie, um, I've just tied a little tag onto the top of my paper clip there. So I'm just going to get out my ribbons here and grab a little tag. I think I'll do it this way. I'm going to just tie it really quickly onto the end. And loop them back in through. Like so. And I'll trim that out once I get the paper clip made. Okay. And then what you're going to do is put the the longer piece in the center and the shorter piece on the back of your paper clip. So the longer piece of the paper clip is on the inside and the shorter piece is on the back. And then you're literally going to glue and I'm just going to use Fabri-Tac glue. You can use a hot glue gun, it might hold a little better but I found this worked just fine. Right on the paper clip as well. Put that lid on so it doesn't ease out. And then you're just going to close that up. With the hot glue, it kind of oozes everywhere, so it's kind of nice to use the hot glue. And then she actually used her sewing machine for some of them, and others she just glued. And what she did was she sewed, ugh, my hands. she sewed right here first with a zigzag stitch and then closed it and glued that end and then sewed across this end. And that made the pocket. I'm just going to glue it for today. Then you're going to glue your two ends. Like so to create your little pocket. I'm just going to put a paper clip on there to hold it closed for a moment. Well, I move on to the little card. So I've made a couple of them up and I'm just going to find the little word piece. This one is it. So this was the little scrap piece that was left over. And see, it's ex almost exactly the same um, length as the paper clip. So we're going to make it three and a half inches instead of four, so it will fit inside the little glued pouch. So I'm going to cut this to three and a half. Like so. So this will fit in between the two glued pieces. That'll be my little card and I use the little leftover piece and just fold it down like so and make a little tab that can go on the top right here. So when I slide this into my little pouch, once it's dry, I have a little tab to pull in and out. And then I'm going to add some paper on top of this using some tea stained paper that I have, some scraps left over. Don't lose my little tab there. So I'm just going to grab a pencil here and again I just eyeball it. So I'm going to cut a piece there. So that will fit inside there and then again I'll eyeball it and just cut a little piece there. And this will be the piece that I glue on to the little card on the inside. And I will put another piece on the back of the card. So I'm just going to 
set that on there. And I like to use my brayer when I use tea stain paper because it's not always the smoothest. There. So there's my tea stain and then you can distress the edges as well of your paper and your card. Oops. I'm just going to make another piece for the other side. Same thing, I just eyeball it and cut it. And eyeball it again. Make a little mark. And we're just going to cut it really quickly here. And that will go on the other side. Now you can decorate them with lace. Um, if you check out um, Attic Lane is her YouTube channel, Attic Lane, and her name is Deborah. And she made these and she called them Hidden Message Paper Clips. And you can see how she decorated. She put some lace on there. And then I'm just going to glue my little tab on. Right in the middle. Like so. There. And then I am going to distress the edges with some distress ink. And get rid of my ribbons. side and then the top of the tab I'll give a little bit of a distress on the sides like so and this should be fairly dry and then I have the little tiny punch. I'm sure you have a bigger one somewhere. This is my little half inch punch. I don't know if it'll fit in there. I should have punched it beforehand. I think I punched the other one beforehand. I did. Like so. And then if you want to, you can distress this tag as well. But I thought this was a nice way to use up that smaller paper and to do something for those jumbo tabs. And I think I might create some of these and give them as free gifts. I like to give something away when um, somebody purchases something from my Etsy shop. So I will probably add these as a free gift when they purchase something. I'll send one of these along inside the... So let me just slide that inside. And there is, and I'm going to have to move that tab over just a tiny bit. Let's see, that's better. There. So you have your slides on to the back like so. You have your tag, and I will probably trim that up a little bit, just so it's not so long.
and you have a little card inside that you can pull out and write something on there. And you can use it as a bookmark in a book. If you're reading a book and you want to write something down, you can just stick that inside as well. And there is your little hidden bookmark. Hidden paperclip, <laughs> not a bookmark. I just thought it was a really great way to use these huge, huge paper clips. Like I say, I bought three or four bags of these and had no idea what to do with them. I did try another kind where you folded them over, but I just found it um, was a little too bulky. But these were just perfect. And you can try tie lace on here and some other strings. I was actually going to put a little garment tag, hang a little garment tag from there and maybe put a charm on them as well. So there's all kinds of little things you can do, but that's just a simple, quick and easy way. You can embellish them with a lot more little pictures, maybe one of those little stamp um, images, the little stamp um, postage things that I make. I can maybe stick one of those on there as well. So I've got a couple of little pieces here. I'm going to make up a few of them and decorate them. And um, these will become my free gift with purchase for my Etsy shop. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hope you subscribe to my channel. See you soon.